Hello! Well, this instrument here is a Johiku. It is an instrument from Finland. Um, the uh, dimensions I got for this instrument I got off of Simon Chadwick's webpage. Uh, the basic structure of it is, is you have a board along here. Um, and then for me, the way I built it, uh, a section from here to here on the top board has been hollowed out. So you basically have a hollow cavity on the first board. And then the second board here I did as, uh, as well, like a hollow cavity, almost like a, you know, a box uh, that has been made by hollowing out a piece of wood. So then uh, these two cavities were glued together, uh, creating a cavity uh, of this thick minus a quarter of an inch, and uh, this thick minus a quarter of an inch. So you have that as your sound chamber. Um, the, you have this one board here with a slight bevel at the end, and then uh, here I have a bridge, and then there are two strings across it, uh, uh, which then go to, to, in my case, to two uh, zither pins. Uh, you have this area here hollowed out so that you can put your fingers in here because the way this instrument is played is um, you, you bow both strings at the same time and then you um, put your fingers on the string in different locations uh, to create the different notes. Um, it has uh, the first note here uh, is uh, close to uh, middle C, uh, around 260 uh, hertz. And then this note here is a, a perfect fourth above it. Uh, so uh, basically four-thirds higher than this note. Uh, it would be uh, middle C and uh, F above middle C, uh, close to those notes. I tried to go for the, um, the perfect interval because I figured that would probably sound better uh, with this instrument. But they're, you know, they're close, not exact. Um, believe it or not, uh, the way I tune these, uh, I have a tough time being able to, to detect the correct pitches for the notes. And so I use a, a program called Audio City. Uh, to actually record uh, a note and then I go in and Audio City has a function where you can actually plot the frequency of the of the note that you're uh, of the sound that you've uh, recorded and then I go in and I find what pitch it is and then I do a calculation to find out what the next pitch should be and then I work uh, I work up the next uh, note until I get to that pitch. It's quite tedious. I mean if I had a much better ear I could just simply tune the two notes uh, much quicker but that's the way I do it. Um, the traditional strings should be uh, horsehair. Uh, in my case, uh, I read an article, I think I, I read an article somewhere, I'm not sure where, uh, and I apologize to, to the writer of that article, um, to where uh, actually um, uh, fishing, a uh, fishing line can be used instead. So in this case, I found the thinnest fishing line I could find. Uh, it was a 0.14 millimeter in uh, thickness. I have uh, 30 of them uh, twisted together on this uh, uh, string, and then 25 of them twisted together on this string. So once again, uh, you have a note here, and then a fourth above that note, and then you simply play the you play it simply. You play the notes by um, fingering the the fret, uh, fingering the notes with the back of your hand. Um, if you go to Simon Chadwick's webpage, you'll find uh, an excellent uh, uh, instructions on on the dimensions of this. Uh, on YouTube, he has a couple of different videos uh, featuring this instrument. Um, I'd recommend going to look at, the, at those if you want to actually hear this instrument played correctly. So what I'm going to do is I will play, um, play the scale. Um, the scale is going to be wildly off because uh, my fingers have to be in, your fingers have to be in an exact, the exact correct location for it to fret it uh, correctly. But this will at least give you the sound of how uh, this instrument, my, my um, uh, my version of this instrument uh, sounds. Let me try that again. Well, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I think uh, these instruments sound much better uh, on, on YouTube. So perhaps it's the wood I'm using. Perhaps I should have used a soft wood uh, instead of using a hard wood. But there you go. I, I like working with hickory, uh, so I make stuff out of hickory. Uh, and in this case, it might be to my detriment. Anyways, um, this is the first of, the, of two Johikus I made. 
Um, the second one I'm going to um, uh, have a video on as well this afternoon. Um, and it will have uh, three strings. And if I remember right, it is a, um, a tonic in the middle, a fourth higher on the left, and then a fifth higher on the right. Um, but uh, more about that in the next video. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.